Hey guys, it's Daros Props here, and welcome to this little convey about magic video. Yes, this is involving the Project DRP. I had a little video of that the other day. Sorry guys, it's not actually out for download yet because I've been working on it and perfecting it. And I wanted to just give you a quick update here just to show you this. Because it's very, very cool and very, very different, I think. I don't know if you've ever seen anything like this before in Bedrock Edition, but my mind is blowing up here. I've been trying to work out all these different coordinates. It's very difficult. <laughs> But I'm getting there, and um, I just wanted to give you a bit of an update, okay, before it actually is out, and I want to make sure it works really well before actually giving it to you guys as well. Um, so, yeah, the way you obtain all these conveyor belts, as you can see, is through the token assembler. I did show this off before, but I am going to just show you this off quickly. So, I'm just showing here that cactus, when you cook it, can change to green dye. And green dye is very valuable because it's it's worth more, basically. You get double cure each one, as you can see. And what I'm going to do is kind of just uh, fill up this. And we're going to fill up this one as well. There we go. And then I'm going to make an uncommon uh, token. Okay, so we've got common, uncommon, and handmade. Okay. Now, as you can see, when I put these in, we get different things that pop up. I haven't tweaked these or anything. I haven't been working on this. I've been only working on the actual conveyor belt. But I want to just show you, this is how you can get the slow one look. And if I put uncommon, you can get the mob conveyor belt and the normal one. I am tempted to put another one in there. But as you can see, this is how you get lava and things like that. I won't show you too much though, because it will spoil it whenever you download it. But I did explain this before. I have kind of designed this all around um, progression and grind basically. So that's pretty much that, and I'm going to bin all this for a minute. And as you notice, I am in survival, okay? I'm doing this all in survival, and there's no command blocks anywhere, okay? So this is all done within the actual add-on pack itself. And I've just set up a load of droppers to show you these a bit more action, and what they actually do, okay? So as you can see, I've updated the textures now. I've figured out how to make it so only the top layer will actually show the animated block, like moving, which is pretty cool. And we got, obviously, these don't have any horribleness anymore like they did before. And there's actually a bottom texture as well, which is really cool. But I've done this on purpose because of the blue one, which I'll show you in a second. So we've got droppers set up. And when I press this, a piece of cobblestone will come out. And yes, I have left particles on the, you know, on the actual items that when they go on these conveyor belts. But guys, I've modified the particles and... When they actually get hit these blocks, the particle will not go through the block anymore. So basically, the only particle you're ever going to see is just this little trickle on underneath this item, as you can see. So it's not really... It's, in my eyes, it's, it shouldn't cause any lag. I've tried this on my mobile phone. It was absolutely fine. Um, so, yeah. Um, so that is the slow speed. So that's yellow. Purple is um, normal speed. So kind of normal in my eyes. That's... Average, I would say. It's not too powerful. It's not too slow. It's it's good. So next up is the vertical. <laughs> yes, you just heard me there, guys. The vertical conveyor belt. This has taken me an extremely long time to figure out. <laughs> it's been quite painful. It's the best I can do. Sometimes it does glitch out. Sometimes it does lag a little bit. But as you'll see, it does actually work. There we go. <laughs> It looks a bit funky, I know, but it works, guys. And if you hook this up with a light speed uh, conveyor belt, it will actually knock it off automatically, which is really cool. So originally, I was going to make a, a, a downward, if that's even a word, a down conveyor belt, because obviously this one goes up. You want one that goes down as well. But when you've got a, a light speed um, conveyor belt, which is down there, the flashing crazy rainbow one, it, it knocks it off because it's too fast. But yes, we'll just fire one more of them. Oh, that one didn't actually go on there. There we go. I probably should have put a piece of glass right here, really. Ah, there we go. As you can see, sometimes it will um, clog up. Now, it's actually better if you hook up, like, a normal one to a um, to this. Now, you probably just saw there that that piece of cobblestone stopped. Look, I've actually set that up with all the conveyor belts. If you're anywhere near... An item within a two block radius the item will actually stop now I've done this to kind of help you if you're playing this to you know fix problems or something 
so you don't get everything clogged up. So it just, you know, I don't know if you've played these kind of automation games before, like Mind Mindustry or Factorio. Things get clogged up unless you, you know, if you, if you don't make it stop. So I thought that was a good idea. Like, okay, I need to fix this line. So we're going to break this one and it's not going to continue falling on the floor or whatever. That's why I did that. But that kind of works with all of them. But yeah, I'll press this one more time so you can see. It definitely works. <laughs> I might need to tweak it a little bit. It's getting there though, guys. It really is. It does work, but why whenever you hit record, it doesn't. <laughs> I think, like I say, I need to put more speed on it. I'll show you in a second what I mean, because I've got a good example down there. But anyway, we're on to the fast one now. Fast is green look. It's a lot, lot, lot more quicker than the uh, normal one, as you can see. But then, like I said earlier, this last one here is light speed. This is my favorite one. It's so fast. The particle is awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I just love this light speed one. I don't know why. And I like the the texture. It's pretty cool. Now, this one is a bit different. It, it works for items as well, but as well as entities. So, boats and minecarts, chickens and <laughs> creepers, sheep, whatever. And armor stands, it will work. But yes, I've just set up a, a bit of an automation killing thing here with a cactus. And that's going into hoppers. And if I go in there... We'll get the chicken. Pretty cool. I don't know how far I can go with this one yet. I might think about doing some other stuff. But as for now, I've worked so, so long on this one. And for some unknown reason, it does. There we go. It worked. Thank God for that. Phew. Anyway, let's talk about what else I've been working on. So we've got two new machines in this. Um, Again, I don't know how far I'm going to go with this, but as you can see, I've got all these different items in my uh, hot bar. Well, now I have. I've got a piece of extra glass just in case I mess this up. Um, basically, I'm making a cobblestone generator here. So this will be the water, and this will be the lava. And then obviously the stone will generate here. Oop. Like so. Ta-da! And if I break this one, break this one, break this one, uh, 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 uh. Here we go. <laughs> Almost missed that. Break this one and break this one and put down some of these uh, conveyor belts. This one might be quite challenging to do. Here we go. And that, like that. Cool. And what I'm going to do is kind of funnel this all the way around. But I need to give myself. I haven't got any. Uh, I forgot to put these in the actual chest, so I've got myself some conveyor belts that are vertical, look. And basically what I'm trying to do is funnel this cobblestone all the way to this um, chest, basically. That's what I'm trying to do. So I think I need to go up too high here, and I think I'm going to have to place these like this for now. Um, we can do that, like, spinny kind of action. Oops. go and now I just put one hopper there that should work and I can break this break this get all of these back oh I can't grab that one Here we go so if I break this cobblestone this should go all the way up <laughs> there we go like that and it should end up getting fed into this um, chest Here we go we got two pieces in there I was just testing it to make sure. So let's do that again. So I'm not like, wait, I'm not like cheating here. I'm not changing anything. Look, I'm just recording. It's all good. <laughs> but basically guys, what I've done is actually make an auto miner. That's what I'm kind of showing you here. So I could just place this thing here and it's gonna work away for me. <laughs> now this does actually use the shulker runtime identifier. So yes, it's counting as a block, guys. I can punch it and it won't do anything. I've modified this as much as I can to stop it teleporting, but I've also added a new ability. If it's stuck to a piece of honey, it will never ever teleport. So I can actually put on slabs over the top of it. It won't cause a problem, which is awesome. And yes, I can do things like this now. And that's going to obviously increase my cobblestone rate, basically. But as you can see, isn't this fantastic, man? This is Minecraft. 
bedrock edition and we got we got some uh, automation going on <laughs> i think it's really really cool i'm really really happy with it man i think it's so cool and you probably noticed some of these weren't just coming out then that's because i'm in the radius where obviously they don't move so if i stand here for a bit you'll see under me there'll be loads there we go sticking there look. because i'm in the radius so they can't move and if we jump off be a big chunk there look <laughs> brilliant look how much we got already guys that is the cobblestone miner for now i am tempted to make one that does other stuff but i don't really know yet um but yes, we got another thing as well, and kind of inspired by the tree decapitator kind of add-on. It's taken, again, a long time to figure out all these different coordinates for this. But we have a tree lumberjack chopping thing. <laughs> Basically, it will chop the logs for you. And the only issue with this one is, I think I need to make it so these items get teleported to this entity... And then I can funnel out, you know, a another one of these, basically. Because if, if I had that entity underneath one of these, it would... Let me just show you what I'm talking about here. Let me just break this. There's so much fun stuff you can do with this, guys. It's so cool. So basically, I could put this here, you see. And if this tree grew, it breaks that. All these items will then get teleported to this. And then it would push them all to wherever you want them to go to make it all automatic. That's kind of what I'm going for here. So I still need to uh, tweak a bit with that one, but it's kind of getting there. But I just wanted to mention about this honey block thing. So you do actually get an understanding this is actually working. Because I know what you're probably thinking, like, Dan said because <laughs> he's put a honey block on it, it won't teleport. So let me just show you this in action. Let's place one of these lumberjacks here. Oh, that happens. Oh, that happens. Oh, that happens. Well, let's put a piece of honey there and try it again. Oh, nothing happened. <laughs> let's remove the honey. Oh. <laughs> As you can see, it definitely works, guys. So if you break these, you actually get the uh, spawn egg back. Again, I haven't quite finished these textures yet, all sounds and stuff. But again, let's just put one of these here. I think that might have to be up two, though, because it's technically two blocks high. And probably if I remove that one, yeah. So it have to be like that. If I remove that, boom, he's going to move. If I put this one here and break this tree one, you kind of get the idea. I'm just kind of showing you here. Ouch. That's something I forgot to mention as well. This one hurts you. <laughs> it's technically got blades coming out as best I could do. Come on. I, I tried, all right. But yeah, uh, let's put this one here, and it won't teleport, and if I break that, it will teleport. So that's kind of how that's working. And lastly, let's just quickly look how much cobblestone we've actually got. I think it was 43. Oh my god. <laughs> but look, no troubles at all. Just go in as it is. But guys, that is pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Darren's Probs, and that is Convey About Magic with Project DRP. It will be out soon, all right? Just be patient. I am working on it to try and iron out all these different bugs and stuff. As you saw, the vertical one, it does work, but it might not work. I could probably, pop, you know, I could probably make it a bit more perfected, <laughs> if that makes sense. But in my eyes, it works pretty well. Um, just quickly, though, I am intrigued. How high can you go with it? So, just before I do go, guys, I've just set up. <laughs> uh, maybe that'll be too quick. I don't know. We'll try it anyway. This goes all the way up to Y100, and I've put one of these at the very end. So, kind of imitating this look. So, fingers crossed, an item should fall down. So, it should technically fall, like, here. So, let's see if this actually works. Let's try this honey block, shall we? Off it goes. <laughs> Come on. You got this. You got this. Come on, little honey block. Come on, little honey block. You got this. <laughs> it's going. It's going. Oh, it's it's so long. This is entertainment right here. I swear. Oh, you go. Whoa! Let's follow it. 
Woohoo! <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm Darren's Proms. Thank you very much for watching. And yeah, look forward to play. I really, I, I don't know. I'm blown away by this myself. I think it's brilliant. I really do. Anyway, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye. What's going on with my honey block?